My assistants are all hiding in the shade. We're sitting on the quad. I'm bringing bins of water around to water what I planted this spring. And I've discovered in the plantation, we have a beautiful baby oak tree seedling. So I've been watering that. And then over here, I believe this is a lime tree seedling. So I'm gonna be watering that as well. And so over time, the lime tree and the oak tree, these are lilacs around here. Then there's, I always call those harmonium, but they're not. They're a prickly fellow. So these are, um, and then here's a, see you can see a dead lilac flower. Then these are Budlia. And then these are St. John's wort. And then up here, these are called something like pheasant berries, I think. So these are pheasant berries, because I think birds like to eat them. So these are kind of a series of low-lying, don't mind being under the shelter of these big beech trees, shrubs that are wildlife friendly. But as we're in sort of drought conditions, I'm watering them. And you can see the ground is really well mulched. So to protect them and keep the moisture, as much moisture in as possible. But I also am now watering them because it's been dry for so long and the ground, these trees will have been sucking all the moisture from the ground deep down. And this way, these guys, fresh planted, will be able to have a sup of water. They're looking fine because they're so well mulched. There's no evidence that the drought is affecting them. So after I've watered these, I'm then going to water all the birch seedlings and uh, willows up there and apple baby apple trees as well up there. So we're at the next stage of watering, which is the taller, more mature trees. These are three silver birches, one, two, three here. And around their base, I have the fleece, but I also have, when we were planting them, I put a tube in so that the water I water goes directly down to their roots. And I just fill that up and then I water the wool around them and that will slowly soak down because if you pour a bunch of water on top, it'll just wash right off. And these roots, these trees have deeper roots. So they want to get uh, access to the water quicker rather than the slow process. So I'm hitting two um, birds with one stone as it were. So um, let's see, there we go. Do the next one so you can see what I'm doing. So I've got a bin full of water. And bring it over. Here you can see the wool surround. And there's the tube that goes straight down. We planted the tube when we planted the tree. And you can hear it. There you can see the water coming up. So that's going straight down to the roots. Uh. And there, I watered around the um, tree on the uh, wool so that the uh, moisture will slowly sink into the top. It's also a weed suppressor. We have it around, this is a young apple tree that my friend Stuart grafted for me. So I'll be, plant, I'll be watering that. And then there's a couple of willows here. Those are small puss pussy willows. Here's another one. So this is what I'm watering at the moment, is this little enclave of plantings from this spring. But I found this is the best way. When you're, um, when you're planting bare-rooted stuff, this doesn't work so well um, because they take much quicker. But I get this tube for this exact reason. 
is to make it so that the trees can have water when it's really, really, really dry. So there we go, I'll keep watering. <laughs>